hey everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel i know this lighting is not doing me any justice but i did want to go ahead and get this short little intro filmed um for you guys who do not know my name is miss barry and me and my husband um are building our own house Woo! so if you follow me on facebook um i recently announced that they have started to break ground but i told everybody my friends and family on facebook that i was going to make sure that i documented the process really well from start to finish um and just kind of let you guys know you know how we got it all done never ever ever would have imagined that we would be building our own house we have been looking for um a bigger house for quite some time now and you know one day <laughs> we decided we were going to build the house and the rest is history literally <laughs> Um, so I did want to go ahead and just give you guys a short little preview of where we started from. So I wanted to show you guys the space that we're starting with, um, which is now our current slash old home. And I say that because by the time this video goes up, the house will be sold already. The new owners will already be living in it. It will no longer be ours. It will be somebody else's. So yes, there is a plethora of emotions for flowing right now um but the exciting news is they have started breaking ground um on our new home already so i definitely want to go ahead and get this video up so that i can start filming and taking pictures and all that good stuff of uh, where we currently are in the process so i can start working on that video so stay tuned here's a quick little clip of our old slash current empty house i actually did the empty house tour the day we closed or the day we gave the keys over to the new owners um so you guys enjoy okay so now i'm just walking you all through the house um of course it's all empty we had all the carpets replaced so as soon as you walk into the front door this was our living room nice big window um like i said we got the paint redone we got the carpet redone of course for the buyer here was um the dining area so this was a very open concept house um we absolutely loved it um so as you walk through the dining room um we came into the kitchen now a few years ago we did have a water leak there was some carpet um, on the other side of the room in the family room and we got the floors replaced um, so those were upgraded floors that we had put into the house a couple of years ago, stainless steel appliances. And this here is our family room. And lots and lots of good memories made in this part of our house. Um, you know, some sad, some very happy. So as you turn, um, so I'm just going to turn around and show you what the floors look like again. Um, and here's the back of the house. So we have some windows, a door to the back. Um, and then, like I said, it was a very nice open concept kitchen. Um, so just walking down the hallway here on the other side of the dining room, we have a half bathroom. Very standard, nothing too crazy. Like I said, we got the paint done throughout. Um, so this is just a cute little powder room, half bathroom. Uh, nothing fancy. And then on the other side of that was the washer and dryer room, which this is probably the cleanest it's ever been because we hate to fold laundry. <laughs> um, so just walking back out to the front here. All right. So then don't mind my shoes. Um, we're just going to go up the steps here. Up we go. Up we go. All right, so at the top of the steps, there is a full bathroom. So I don't know if I mentioned the house is three bedrooms, two full baths, and a half bath. Um, and so, again, this was kind of um, a little bit of a smaller bathroom, but it served its purpose. I love that shower head. I upgraded it um, a couple of years ago. Um, but it served its purpose, um, like I said, a full bathroom normally for our guests i love this little cubby hole here we kept like a little bookshelf there it was a very cute little um area here was just a linen closet 
And then we did have some extra paint left over, so we just left those for the buyers. Now, this one was the smaller of the bedrooms, um, and this was one that we actually used for a guest bedroom. Um, I mean, it fit the purpose. There was a bed in here, a nightstand, a TV, you know, just for the guest. Cute little closet there, nothing fancy. So then here was our um, next biggest room. Um, I absolutely love the windows in this room. Nice little window seat over there. So this was kind of our everything room. Um, I kept a lot of stuff for my business in this room. My husband kept stuff in this room. Um, of course, the closets stayed packed with stuff, but nice size closet in here. Um, yeah, and this was kind of like the catch-all room. So it had a lot of our stuff that we didn't keep. Um, yeah. So, the catch-all room. <laughs> so, if you walk straight ahead, um, this was actually the master bedroom. Um, I'm pretty sure the camera doesn't do it any justice, but this was a huge room, okay? Um, you all know I'm a country girl, so I love looking out the windows to the trees. And like I said, a nice, big, spacious room. Plenty of room to move around. We actually had a queen-size bed um, in this room, and it fit very, very well. Now, this was the master bathroom, and these floors I actually did myself. Woo woo, DIY. <laughs> and I actually painted the bathroom. I actually left that little cute sign for the buyer. Um, I actually painted this bathroom myself. I did the floors myself, and then I had a lot of cute little decorations. So, again, it was a full bathroom, double sink, um, nice little ensuite bathroom. And here was my closet. Yes, my closet in the master bedroom. And trust me when I say I filled this closet to the brim, okay? No room for anybody else's stuff but mine. Um, but a very nice walk-in closet. Um, just walking back out from the bedroom here. Just to show you all how big it is. Um, a very, very nice size room. Love this room here. All right. So... Uh, just going back out, um, like I said, three full ba uh, three bedrooms, two and a half baths. Um, we had an attic. Oh my goodness, that attic was full of stuff. Jesus help the children. That attic, whoo, almost took us out of here. But anyway, that is a quick tour of the house. Um, so yeah. That's our old home. Long live the Barry's first household. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that short little clip of, like I said, our old slash current home because uh, the new owners are probably already in it, unpacked, living it up by now. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so we started with the three bedroom, two and a half bath town home. Um, the house that we're actually building is going to be a single family home. I'm not going to share all the details yet because I do want to keep you guys just as excited as I am. So the next video that I upload will actually be them breaking ground and just some footage of them actually out there working um, on our land. Like I said, if you follow me on Facebook, you know that this is something that I promise you guys. So for the next couple of months, um, I will be documenting the entire process from start to finish. I will actually be doing some Q&A sessions as well, just to kind of answer the questions of, well, how did you start the process of buying a new, uh, buying a new home? And building a house and you know what did your credit have to look like and how much money did you have to put down and all that good stuff because I watch a lot of videos on YouTube <clears throat> and different things instagram i do pinterest and all the things um and nobody really wants to talk about you know the real real when it comes down to you know what you need to buy your own home so i definitely want to be as transparent as possible during this entire process um because i know if i can do it if, if me and my husband can do it you know us just two little old people trying to make it in the world if we can do it i know that you guys can do it and i definitely want to make sure that um you know i'm being as clear as possible as transparent as possible because um you know i want to make sure that this actually helps somebody else we had some really good help some really good people in our corner um and i want to make sure that if somebody needs me in their corner that i I'm definitely there providing them with the resources and the tools and the shoulder to cry on and <laughs> all the things when it comes to the home buying process. So 
that's it for me for this video um make sure that you like and subscribe so that you don't miss any part of this process and i will see you guys in my next video